We're going to take our example, and what I have done already is I have saved that last example, which was the block load, and I have renamed it in our new spreadsheet as a room by room load. If you'll notice at the very top, it says room by room room load example. Now, I'm I need to get rid of some information to be able to go forward. So I'm going to change my block load, and we're going to put one room right here. Let's, uh, let's take the utility room, okay? U-T-I-L-I-T-Y. We're going to name that. Well, all this information down through here is not correct for the utility room, so I'm going to delete that information. But notice I am not deleting anything that shows, uh, uh oh, that's an example of how if you get in the wrong block, it's not going to let you do something. Okay, and last but not least, there we go. Okay, you notice all those values, or the names values, and a bunch of things showed up that telling me I've got mistakes. That's good, it's doing its job. I would go through here and put all my rooms across the top. Now, in my utility room, if you recall, we had zero windows in the utility room, so we need to put absolutely nothing there. Okay? Did we have a door in the utility room? Yes, we did. Door number three, its dimensions was 18 square foot. There it is. Above grade walls in the utility room. Let me grab my little cheat sheet that I've already done. Done a little math. My exterior walls to the exterior was 80. 80 square feet. Did I have uh, any shaded walls? No, I did not. But I did have petition walls in the utility room. Those petition walls amounted to 144 square feet. That's 18 plus, um, 18, excuse me, linear feet times 8, which gave me 144, but I had to deduct the 18 foot of the door away from that, which gives me a total of 120 square foot of petition walls for that particular room. How big is the ceiling? The ceiling is 80 square feet. The room is 10 by 8, so that's 80 square feet for the ceiling. The floors, 80 square feet, identical to the uh, ceiling. Now, last but not least, I'm not going to put any occupants in the utility room, although I will probably get an argument out of many of housekeepers that say they spend a lot of time in there with the washer and dryer. But for this particular example, we're not going to put any occupants in there. I am going to put part of our uh, VTU, our appliance load, in the utility room. I'm going to use 600 at that particular point. I am done with the utility room load. Now, just a quick look, if I go to the summary, it looks quite odd. You notice all these things are showing value? That's because I haven't finished the whole house. But I already know what my heat loss and my heat gains are for the utility room. Now, this is not complete. You'll, if you'll give me a few minutes, I'll be back on the air with a complete version and show you what that is.